so up to this in the last sessions we covered what is collection what is the list and the set just we started set implementation classes in that we covered already collection entropies and the list we discussed already of course in the set we started here we covered four implementation classes for the list array list linker list vector stack next up for the set we covered already hash set linked hash set now the next things what we require to talk sorted set sorted set and then navigable set sorted set navigable set and then we should go for its implementation class tree set are getting this part is the remaining we require to cover now keep supporting sorted set sorted set sorted set here legend if you consider set when we should go for set we know if we don't want duplicates i don't want duplicates i don't want order then we should go for set usually in the order is not important duplicates are not allowed general most common user set is hash set but sometimes our requirement is duplicates are not allowed but insertion order must be preserved in which order we saved in the same order only internally the objects are required to store then we should go for linked hash set are you getting but sometimes our requirement i want to represent a group of values a group of individual objects without to duplicates duplicates are not allowed without to duplicates but but some sorting order is required all objects should be inserted according to some sorting order best example can you please store all student objects according to their roll number can you please store all employees according to their alphabetical order of names like so can you please represent a group of objects according to some sorting order according to some sorting order without duplicates then we should go for sorted set are you getting so sorted set is child interface of set interface when we should go for sorted set if you want to represent a group of individual objects according to some sorting order without duplicates so duplicates are not allowed some sorting order is important then we should go for what sorted set i hope the two terms are clear right first at now in the last session i covered set interface doesn't contain any new methods we have to use the methods present inside collection only are getting collection methods only so we have to use but suppose if i am considering 1 2 3 3 is the first set 3 2 1 second set or 3 1 2 like this can i use the term all these sets are equal or not now can i use the term these sets are equal or not yes because here in set the order is not important whether all these elements are there or not that's what we requirement right so order is not important whether all elements present or not that's why so all are equal can you tell what is the first element what is the first element no you can't tell because sometimes one sometimes three sometimes two any element can be first element what is the last element any element can be last element so in the normal set what is the first element what is the last element there is no such type of terminology right but if we consider sorted set sir my set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 sir sorted set all elements are representing according to some sorting order now can you tell what is the first element 1 what is the last element 7 so if it is a normal set 
If it is the normal set, first element, last element, such type of terminology is not applicable. But if it is, if it is sorted set, yes, first element is one, last element is the seven. Like we have such them. So sorted set uh, define some specific methods which are applicable on the sorted set object. Sorted set object means it's implemented class object. So which methods are there in the sorted set? There are just the uh, six methods are there on the sorted set object we can apply these six methods there are total six methods are there specific to sorted set okay here just observe sorted set sorted set specific methods sorted set specific methods here just observe this one and let me take one example here my set e is 100 101, 103, 104, 107, 110, 115. Like this is my sorted set. Assume. Can you tell? I want to know first first element, right? Can you can you spell out what is the first element here? Ah, what is the first element? In this, what is the first element? Hundred. Now, first here. If you want to know first element, then you can call first. Its value is nothing but what? 100. Again, can you please tell what is the last element? Now, what is the last? Last element is nothing but 115. I hope you can be able to understand. Next, I want to know the elements which are less than 104. Less than a particular a particular object. Now the elements which are less than a particular object, then we can use the term head head set head set of object O or head set of one zero four. Let me take head set of one zero four. Can you tell how many elements are there which are less than one zero four? Hundred, one at one, one at three. That's why hundred, one at one. 103 is there. Are you getting? Next fourth one, tail set. Tail set of 104. Tail set of 104. The elements which are greater than or equal to 104. Greater than or equal to 104. Can you can you spell out which elements are greater than or equal to 104? 104, 107, 110, 115. Are you getting? Next my requirement is subset. Subset of 103, 110. So the elements which are greater than or equal to 103 but less than 110. Is nothing more? Which are greater than or equal to 103, 103, 104, 107 like. Are you getting a subset? So these are five methods where we can apply on the sorted set object sorted set object means it's a implemented class object only we can we can apply it's implemented class object next there is one more method as of now just remember the method but internally what it means i will explain there is one more method named with the comparator comparator returns a comparator object which describe underlying sorting technique. Are you getting returns comparator object which describes underlying sorting technique. If we are using default natural sorting order, then immediately you ask us, sir, what is default natural sorting order? If it is the number, ascending order is the default natural sorting order. Here, just because in the next part also, I am going to use repeatedly. Default natural sorting order. For numbers, for numbers, ascending order, ascending order, for string objects, for string, strings, alphabetical order, alphabetical order, alphabetical order, we know, dictionary order, something like. If we are using default natural sorting order, then this comparator method simply returns null. Are you able to understand that? Okay, this way. So, comparator method returns comparator object that describes underlying sorting technique. That describes underlying sorting technique. If we are using default natural sorting order, 
then comparator method simply returns null what is default natural sorting order for numbers normally ascending order is my sorting for string objects alphabetical order is my sorting i hope you people are able to understand but these methods you can't apply on any set object you can apply only on sorted set implemented class object which is nothing but tree set on the tree set object happily we can apply these methods right are you getting so normal set doesn't contain any new method but sorted set contain some specific methods are there are you getting so keep submitting sorted set sorted set specific methods that's all are you able to understand right so that's all there ends what is our sorted set now we will talk about implementation class for the sorted set okay